Hello there. Happy Thursday. It was better before, wasn't it? It's better before. No, I cut my head off. Oh, maybe that is better before. Tilt, tilt a whirl. Yeah, that'll do. You can have to watch it like that or like that. See, I don't know whether people watch things that way up or that way up now because when people go on Facebook Live they always do it that way up because when you're scrolling through Facebook it's that way but I don't really know so cute so I've got my um, iPod on the old shuffly thing well I'm random on my stereo because it's still doing that thing um, and I've got a bit of extreme um, from the album Pornography uh, which was first introduced to me by um, Kevin and Philip Paul I believe in Thornton oh. Kiddly Winks in the middle of the road <laughs> oh, and more well, and a car as well this isn't good it's alright come on Kidly looks behind me as well. Right, is this car coming or not? There he goes. <laughs> You're welcome. They didn't thank me. Never mind. As um I think it was Ben said to Leslie in Parks and Rec, the episode I watched last night, um, when you're doing a thankless job. You can't expect to be thanked for it. Right, okay. Today, on my lovely little wibbly wobbly drive to work, I want to talk about things that you're good at and things that you're not good at. Um, the prompting for this conversation is that I'm going to, I've totally put my put name down on impulse, going to a thing today in Leeds um, called Pints and Pencils, I think it's called. And it's um, a, a comic book club's kind of having a drink and drawing doodles and things. Now, I'm really good at drawing. I mean, like, really good at drawing. I do believe in blowing your own trumpet when you're good at things, but my skill set lies in copying things. I think I've got a knack in seeing what's actually there rather than making assumptions, which is true in lots of areas of my life, I think. But yeah, but I'm good at copying stuff. I'm good at seeing a picture and making something look exactly like it. Maybe slightly different with colours and stuff, but generally, if I am asked to draw anything out of my brain hole, I'm not very good. I'm I just not. And that could basically right, I'll, I'll come back to this, I will try and bring it back. <laughs> um we did we do this makeup challenge with the unique family people, the, the lovely, lovely girls, and we um we've had these challenges and we had to do a two-faced look and um one of the girls that got through was her, look, she, her makeup's always spot on. She's so she's creative, she, you know, she knows how to make a face work, it's good. Um, for the next challenge, she's like, oh, I can't do this, I did this eight years ago and it wasn't very good and it stopped me from loving art and, um, and, and it's like, and I did this whole big I am thing <laughs> to try and boost her up saying, I, I did rubbish at art A level and I stopped drawing for years and I'm really good again now because I got back on the horse but the truth of the matter is when I was in class 2 at primary school people that went to Thornton Primary will know of well, at the same time as me will know of a, um, a, a, a unsavoury character shall we say called Mrs Hare she was the head teacher and she to shake you, give you the shake, that was the thing. Um, everyone was terrified of her and we were doing art or drawing in her class and we had to draw a woodland creature. I don't know if it's because the animals are far in Woodworld Rage or whatever, but yeah we had to draw a woodland creature um, and I drew 
a frog and she said it looked like a sheep and I needed to draw another thing and then I drew a rabbit and she said it was terrible and then she said to me you obviously just can't draw why don't you sit and do some maths instead that actually happened you won't get away with it now that actually happened in my school and I think that that one incident has stopped me from being able to or having the confidence to draw from my imagination so basically I want to get that confidence back because I know my brain's a bit funny and I know I don't recognize faces but I do have a photographic memory in a lot of cases so why can I not just recall something and draw it I don't know I've got this block mental block and I need to push past that so that's what I'm going to do tonight I think it's important to um, acknowledge that you're good at things and I think it's also important to acknowledge that you're not very good at things but I think it's even more important to try which is what I was saying in the group um, the makeup group yeah just need to try worst case scenario it doesn't work well but don't let anybody tell you what you can't do no way I had a lot of issues growing up where I thought I've always my mum's always said the world is your oyster and I and you can do whatever you want to do and I've always had this belief that if I'm human then I can do something that another human's done because we're essentially the same thing so I get very frustrated if I'm not very good at something straight away because I'm human I should be able to like run as fast as Linford Christie we're both human right it doesn't work like that though you do realize when you get older that everyone's individual everyone has their strengths and their weaknesses and some things just come easier to other people so yeah but don't you dare be afraid to tell people about the things that you're good at don't don't be afraid to do it and don't be afraid to work on the things that you're not good at and it doesn't make you any less of a person because you're not very good at one thing or you know a couple of things or the thing is as well is it's impossible to be the best at every single thing you do in the world there's always going to be someone out there that that does it differently not necessarily better because better is subjective this is something else you need to remember but someone out there might be more successful or more in the way that you deem to be successful at a certain thing than you are at anything. So you cannot go around comparing yourself to people and thinking, well, that, that, I'm really miffed that they've got those skills and I don't. What you need to do is use that to... Sorry about all the shadows today, but like, use that to... Um, this sun doesn't know what it's doing. Anyway, use other people's successes to inspire you to be successful in your own right. That's what you need to do. If you follow the law of attraction, and I hope that you do, and I hope that you do look into it because it is amazing and it has absolutely transformed my life, you will realise that when you see success and when you see other people doing the things that you wish you were doing, it means that you're vibrating on the right frequency to be able to attract that kind of thing into your life. So don't see it as a, a reason to be all bitter and twisted about what that someone else is doing, what you want to do. Use it as a sign to think, I'm on the right path here. I am on the right path. I totally missed what the last song was on my um, on my iPod, but this is um, Manson. Um, bit of bit of old school 90s for you. Oh, the sun is so bright. <laughs> Why can it not be that bright? And my, my visor kind of doesn't actually stay where it's supposed to anymore. <sighs> I need some blue tack like my mum's got in hers. Oh well, we'll be changing direction now. Hopefully the sun will stay where it is. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Okie dokie. And as we come up to 8.53 on the clock, I wonder what parking delights we have in store for us. So I'm just going over my mirror what I've just been talking about. So basically, yeah, I think I think I made a point. That's all right. I don't like to leave these little musings, ah, oh, sun's back, without actually making a point. And I think I made a couple. I might try and actually summarize them in the comments and I might encourage people on YouTube and Facebook to drop me a comment with one thing that you're really good at. And let's all give each other a, you know, a pat on the back for being good at things. See, I'm such an optimist. It's really busy. Loads of people are 
parked up on this side of the road. There's more people than I've ever seen before. But there might be one space at the top. There might be. I want it. No. No! Okay, let's do it. He's turning around there, that's fine. I might be in for a bit of a walk. People not park sensibly today though. This is okay. They've not parked like idiots. Oh, for this. Okay, can't find it, grind it. Where do all these cars come from? Can I park there? Can I do it? No, because of... People. People, man. I'm going to park right down here. Wow, this is the furthest away that I've ever parked. Jesus, I've got a bit of a walk. I've got five minutes to do it in. Can I do it? Of course I can. I'm good at walking fast. I'm going to see you on Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye.